Hello YouTube, Damo underscore 23 here and welcome back to another episode of Glory Hunter. In today's episode, we have a league game against Wolfsburg at home and it's mainly an episode just to update how things are going because at the moment we are going to win the league and it's more of a question of when we're winning it instead of if we're going to win it. Since we also met Bayern and made a slight resurgence, we're also through in the Champions League into the quarterfinals and or the second knockout round, I should say. And without further ado, we're going to get straight into today's episode. Give it a like, do subscribe to the YouTube channel and do leave a comment if you do uh, enjoy the content or want to have a question about the save. Um, with that being said, since we last met, we've played a lot and a lot and a lot of games. Uh, might have even been Herbert Berlin, we won for a new. I've played a lot, mostly on stream. Uh, mostly on stream. Last game that I played on stream was PSG. Uh, we lost 3-1 and said we'll call it a night there. Um, I've been house-sitting at my dad's, so it's kind of been go sit at my dad's, come home, uh, go to bed, wake up, go to work. So hopefully a stream later tonight as well so we can finish off the end of this season. Um, but as you can see here, we have uh, you know went on a run in the league. Uh, to be fair to Hippus, they played really well against me. Um, they've had a resurgence in the league. Thomas Tush just took charge of them. Um, their job came up again. Um, I did try, uh, but they wouldn't let me come at the end of the season, so I withdrew my interest there. Because I'm definitely not leaving Dortmund to be in the league. Um, we beat Leipzig 2-0, and we beat Mocha Gladbach 1-0 as well in the most two recent games, which leaves us in a very good position. Um, it also means that the Champions League round of 16, Aston Villa, who have got a great side, but we took stole Arbury from, um, and made it in through the top eight, and that's who we're going to play. I kind of want to see their run. Um, for the Champions League league phase. They'll have a good run. Uh, Ajax, they lost. They beat Salzburg, VTSC, another easy game. Drew to Real Madrid, got on and lost the Hippos. Beat Galatasaray. Beat Benfica. Beat Barcelona. Jeez, okay. So they went on a bit of a run towards the end um, to finish in eighth themselves, which probably is very disappointing that we didn't finish inside the eight um, there. But look, uh, gave the uh, backup boys an extra game, and that's all that matters there as well. Um, with that being said, I know that Villa are a decent side, but we should be beating them in the run that we're having. Um, so we should go out there and do what we need to do. Bayern Munich have turned it around, started to go on a bit of a winning run, started to eke a gap out. But as you can see, they were 13 points clear with a game in hand. We've won 20 games, four a draws. If we were to lose today against Wolfsburg and lose the next one, then our next episode will obviously be Bayern. Um, and then all of a sudden that Bayern episode is about, oh, am I choking the league title again? Um, we'll wait and we'll see. Um, in terms of Bayern and how they've come back into fruition, if you go to their senior squad, um, you know, well, they did lose to Hoffenheim, they did get knocked out of DFB Pockel against uh, Herbert Berlin, um, but uh, since they lost to me 5-0, there's only two losses in the DF in the Bundesliga and one in the DFB Pockel. So uh, probably means that in the Pockel, by the way, uh, we should be, uh, you know, we should be in the semi-final, not being drawn out yet. Um, but we're going to get Wolfsburg or Hebe Berlin more than likely. Uh, you know, we'll get through that as well. In terms of the team, a few little injuries. taram has been um, a little bit injured. So we've, uh, um, same with Kay Havertz. Joe Carlson now happy to stay. He doesn't want to leave anymore, which is always a good thing too. Um, just in case we somehow don't just stick around. I don't care if players get unhappy at this stage here at the club. It's all about me winning the league. Um, I've made promises to, I think, at least um, at least Ernest that we're going to win the Champions League this year. And it might be one more. I think Marco Minuzzi, um that will win the Champions League. And if we don't, they want to leave. So I don't care. I'm not going to be around for that as long as I win the league title. Now, uh, without further ado, let's get into this game. It should be a fairly straightforward match. I'm filming this before work. Um, it was more just, you know, uh, looking at the episodes that I have recorded um, as a film in this 119's out, 120's out later in the day, just in case I somehow don't stream and don't play tonight again, um, at least then I've got 121 ready to go. If not, you might see a double upload day of this episode early uh, tomorrow and another episode that we did in probably the buying game, um, but we'll wait and we'll see. Anyway, highlight from kickoff and, you know, Wolfsburg gave us some issues in the last game as well, it has to be said. Uh, we did come back from 1-0 down and win 2-1 there. Uh, when we also drew new new to Leipzig, so wait and see how we go. But anyway, early boy out to Carlos, so I could switch the complete wing back on attack because he's so much better in that role. Finds Blesser, he puts his foot on it, cuts it, Real, and somehow that hasn't gone on the back of the net, but there we go, weird highlight. And he looked like he just tried to pass it to the keeper. In the end though, first 10 minutes was a promising start. Couple of early bookings though, which I do not like. Um, would I take a draw? To be fair, being so many games ahead of Bayern, yeah, draw just ticks another game off about dropping points. Um, but we don't have to worry about that because Arbru makes a run at the front stick and we lead 1-0. And that's a great header from Abru. 
I will say, whoever I move to uh, Spain, unless it's Barcelona or Real Madrid, I'm probably not going to be able to take as many players from Dortmund that I would have elsewhere. Um, but, uh, you know, the guys are like on loan, like Ibrich, um, I don't think we'll get Tyrone, but we could loan Tyrone to continue his development there for Brazil. Uh, you know, Anderson, the keeper, maybe. Uh, but, you know, all these big first-team players, just enjoy him right now because this will be the last time we probably get to use Blesser. Same way we had our run with Roman Tisney back in the day. Same with Minuzzi. Um, unless they become unhappy and they really want to join us there too. Um, but anyhow, ball back stick for me, Remoto. Bless their heads. We lead 2-0. Apologies for the uh, alarm going off there as well, trying to tell me if you're not out of bed, get out of bed. We're definitely out of bed because we are leading 2-0. And that is a great header back stick from Blesser. Minuzzi with a ball. Found Giuseppe, Iremoto, lumps at back stick, and well, that is a great header. And we lead 2 0. Luis Felipe, the Brazilian, finds Scully. Scully now. Meneb gets under the ball, which is always good and it helps the press. Real, good squeeze from Manuzzi to kind of press the centre back there, so we couldn't. Didn't continue it though. Did everything right and then didn't continue it. Forced them long, and Haas will win. Carlos, Haas, Joe Carlos. Great couple of touches from the Brazilian. He's been fantastic. Hints why Man City want him. Carlos again. Great ball to Blesser. Very well worked. Can we find the right ball into the box here, Bless? Or do we lose it? We do. Haas is there. Doesn't win that one. Forced them long again. And Giuseppe beats the tackle. Menev. Iremoto. Out to Blesser. Carlos needs to get beyond him. Decides against it. Haas. Iremoto. Blesser. Manuzzi. 3-0. It is sensational. It is elite. We are great. And I'm telling you, at some stage, you might start focusing on the Champions League in this season because that might be the only thing that we might be playing for. We're going to be, what, uh, 14 points clear or something? We have, like, nine games to go. We would have to lose at least five games here to win the league, so to lose the league. So, yeah. At halftime, Bless is going to come off. He's pretty injured. We've got Phil Foden. And I'm, I doubt we're going to be able to use Phil Foden in this... Uh, in this save anymore either so just just enjoy them boys uh, and the, the stream's been enjoying it um the links are down below uh we're trying to make sure that we publish every vod um at the moment because so whatever reason it's not like the old school days the vods could become locked and then you have to manually do it back in the day it always used to be up anyway Menev, real Haas, great press again it's blesser out there doesn't win that carlos is not as high because he's on wing back on attack instead of complete wing back but there he is on the ball he drives the ball to Real is poor. This feels like a Wolfsburg highlight because we've given the ball away so much. Or well, Carlos wins it and now it's Manuzzi and Real makes a good run. He beats the challenge and Menev's with him too. And Menev, Real, finish. Looked slightly offside to be fair. Just was a weird highlight where it wasn't clean from the game. A bit of a stretch there too. Trying to wake up the body. 4-0, can't do much. Could have been 4 0, sorry, can't do much. And he's offside by a mile. Anyway, half time absolutely dominated with 3 0 up. Kind of in the way of the year. Um, Blessed is going to come off here for Phil Foden. Um, we're also going to move Carlos as the complete wing back on the tap so you guys can see what I mean when they get going. Um, and if we can see it, I will make a change there. Um, I'm also going to get Song on for Irimoto. Now, um, uh, actually, no, when I have Encore. Um, just making sure people stay fit. Obviously, we're going to be looking to rotate where we can. Uh, some of some are still happy. I've even moved him to a rotation player. Xavi Simmons has not been happy all year, but it is what it is. We might bring him on here uh, for Manuzzi as well. And I guess with the game being so in control, we can even start thinking about lowering the tempo at 4 or 5 nil. and uh, if we get there, um, and starting to just you know get the boys to relax. Anyway, Luis Felipe... Back to the keeper, Foden with a searching ball. Haas wins that. Manuzzi now needs runners. Falls to Haas. Vencor. Menev. Inside ball. Vencor. Hits. Just over the bar. It's also important about giving all these... And this is the big thing that we've done this year, and I feel like it's worked out well, is making sure that these uh, uh, that these lads that are on the fringes, like a Ven said or, or... I say Vencor, but Ven said or and Kefren Taram and... Uh, all those boys are happy um, by giving him a lot of rotation. Manuzzi now front stick. Linden doesn't win, which is unlike him, even though he's six foot. Manuzzi, though, breeze past one. He's in the box. Good save from Zarate. Um, had to get down to his left. Keeps it at 3 0. 
Trying to think of who else would be important here for this next game too. Like, Castro's going to play up front. Havertz probably is obviously not 100%, I don't think. So I think Manuzzi coming off here might make sense as well. Um, trying to think who else would make sense here. Ernest was suspended for today, so that's fine. Kevin Turan can play for Haas anyway. Um, I think what you've got to do is take up the big players here. So um, Sergio is going to come in for Giuseppe as a wing-back on support. Um, and we're going to bring that off for Chabby Simmons. And we'll leave one last change for someone that I think we need to take off. Uh... Like someone can play in the middle if we didn't want to play Haas. Game's pretty over. I'm going to do that as well. We might play Haas. We might try and go as full strength as possible for the first leg against Villa because we're at home. Um, and try and put that tie away so we're into the quarterfinal pretty quickly and we can rotate in the second game. Pongesi, who people uh, you know, will remember I signed at AC Milan who had three-star potential and I was like, hey, this guy's really good. And the game needed to give him more credit. He's had a very good career. Ended up, I sold him to Chelsea, ended up playing for Chelsea. We've conceded to a deflected cross, so this game ain't over. Um, yeah, Pro Progressi is a very good footballer. He's grown into a decent footballer. I think he just come off though, after that highlight. Anyway, goal kind of against the run of play, and it was a deflected cross, and we haven't conceded too many goals this year. I think it's six or seven now with that goal included. A goal right now would make things interesting uh, for them. I would worry, even though we haven't really conceded too many. Anyway, Minev, Foden, looks for Chavi Simmons, doesn't find him. Another ball that was good, but just didn't find its mark. Unai Vencid, or a very strong Minev is there. He's got numbers inside. Cuts it, Real, goal, there's 4-1, and we can relax again now. Now, Fredo Real scores another goal. Minev with another assist. The boys have had a really good year. And this is this is uh, this team, arguably, I think, could be my AC Milan side and my Newcastle side, which have def definitely this, those are the top three sides in terms of creation there. I would say AC Milan was the best team in the world when we had it. I would say the Newcastle team had a lot more about it. Um, but I think this dormant side in terms of a whole complete squad and the well-roundness and the ability of the regens, this, this probably could be hands down the best. Let me know which one you think my best is. Win 4-1, it's another win. Chalk it up. We only allowed four shots all, all, all day and we conceded through one, so a little bit, uh, that's a little bit harsh. Puts us on the 67 points, boys. We are flying. Um, I am just interested to see what the number of goal that was that we conceded. That was our 12th goal for us. We've actually conceded a few more. We had a Brandon score three pass us. Wolfsburg has scored a second pass us there. But that's in 25 games. And I would say Heatley's conceded all 12 because I've played him in majority of matches here. He has conceded all 12s. That's not too bad. With that being said, though, guys, thank you very much for watching another episode here as well. Next episode, I will probably be on stream. We'll definitely try to be. And for the Bayern Munich game, by that stage there, the league could be won and dusted, which I know is a crazy thing because it's only in four games' time. But I think if we win all of them and, and Bayern don't run perfect, it's pretty much all over. It could be mathematically all over. Uh, but with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much. Have a great day and goodbye.